Okay, so part of the problem there, I think, really comes down to the fact that our broker list consists of a broker list of one. So we're going to spread the love, as they say, and we're going to make this happen on, on there, uh, and saying one, because the brokers, remember, are all just divided by the port number that they're listing on. I to get rid of that space. There's a comma separated list. And then we can see 192.168. This had a replication of 2. So let's just keep that as that. And that should be OK, he says. So let's have a look. Make sure that's correct. No obvious typos in there. OK, good, good, good. Uh, and then what we'll see on the other end is the bootstrap server that we can see listed here. And of course, we're addressing only a single one of those as well. So let's do the same sort of thing here. And we'll put in 192.168.1.235993. OK, so let's see what happens. There we go. So we've got the alarms again as before. Um, we're going to go back into Ray. So he's timed out. Let's uh, just put the password in and get in. Uh, we can see what's going on on our beasties over here. Let's, let's bring up a new terminal. We seem to have lots of terminals, in fact. Oh, yes, that's running uh, as it happens. Wireshark in the background. So we can see. Here I've got a new terminal. We'll go into Kafka as before. Good. And what we could do in here is we could actually have a look and see what's going on with regards to my particular topic. So that's a slash bin slash. Uh, we're looking at we're looking at uh, the Kafka topics, and I wanted to describe. Uh, the, what's what's going on in here? So we'll refer to the zookeeper, and that's localhost two one eight one. Don't you just love it when it sort of breaks it across a line like that? Should have started with a bigger screen. I hear you say, and then of course we'll look at the topic. Now it's my second topic that I'm actually addressing here. And it would help if we put that in correctly. So let's go back and change describe to the proper spelling of describe. It was going so well, he said, hopefully. Right, there we go. So the leader is 2 this time. So 0, 2, and 3 are the available servers. Uh, but because of the replication factor, we've spread this across 0 and 2. OK. And if we remember, uh, when we started these two up, we asked them to look at a list of brokers and bootstrap servers, and we can see that we were looking at both 9092, which is 0, and 9093, which is 2, which sort of marries in with 0 and 2 here. So the leader at the moment is 2. So what we could do is let's try and do a kill. So if we if we just move into bin, what we can see in here is that we've got a number of options in here. So against the particular Kafka servers, we can stop the Kafka server. So as we know, um, and maybe we have forgotten, but uh, as we know that the um, that would now be up one. If we have a look again, we can see that the leader is number two. So that's the one that we want to kill, right? Stop in this case. So if we just go from the local directory, Kafka server stop, uh, and then we need to describe, of course, the, 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 the file that we want to stop, which was config slash server two properties, and of course, uh, we're now no longer in there, so we need to go up, out of bin, back down into config, into server 2, and properties. Good tab works. Excellent. 
and if we run off the previous command that we had before to describe that it's still showing the leader as 2 but there's still movement in the background we've got replicas across 0 and 2 let's just give it a bit of time and do it again to see what happens there's some activity that's just occurred shutting down certain bits still says the leader is 2 let's have a look at what we've got back here so just completed the shutdown on server 2 right so that's definitely gone down so you'd expect that to be gone from this list but it's still the leader is identified as 2 the replicas are 0 and 2 right but the most important thing is what's actually happening to the alarms here are they getting through so we know that we've lost one of those so in fact if you look at the numbers rapidly changing 0, 2 and 3 are actually all recording the fact that they're not available So we'll break out of there, we'll establish the session again, we'll break out of there and we'll establish the session again. And this tells us that those two are not available. So let's have a look and see. We've got 9092 and 9093. Yeah, as correctly stated we've got rid of 9093 so 9092 should be available for service and that should be available as far as 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 we're concerned but it's not able to provide the right level of replication so it's unable to do that so we need we need an alternate server in order for that to sort of happen so let's have a look and see what it's saying here now Right, it's still saying that leader is 2, the replication factor is 2, we've, we've got replicas of 0 and 2, but we know that that's completely shut down, broken number 2. So what that should have done of course, is try to organise something more across the others. But of course, if we look at its if we look at its, its listeners, so if we go into that particular server, we can see that the config file says that it's listening on, I did a cat didn't I? Let's do that grep through listeners, listen might do. So we can see that the listeners that we've got here are in fact 9093, right? Okay, so the second one of the two that we had, because of course it's this this particular server. So this server, server 2, has stopped, gone down, it was the leader, and we'd expect then that the actions in the rear should have actually changed that over, and it didn't. So, food for thought, eh? One thing to point out is that if we have a look at that again, even though that's saying it's the leader, it's not actually part of the in sync group. So it is out of sync. It's uh, it's it's obvious. It's out of sync. Obviously, it's in this list. Uh, it's not part of the effectively now the 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 beasties that we can actually use. So if we have a look at um, my topic, my third topic, again we can see out of the group of three that's not in sync and if we have a look at my first topic, that's, that's fine uh, essentially because there are no replicas so there's no 
synchronization across those partitions. So this would suggest for the third group that there is a replication going on between 3 and 0. 2 is out. 2 is out of this group here, so therefore that would mean then that only 0 is now a member of that group. And that fits with what we've actually done. So that's good. That, that, that at least proves part of it's working. So just bringing up the the rear, so to speak, uh, in terms of what we can see here, we should be able to find that second topic uh, from the beginning available on the server. Let's get rid of this uh, second reference now. Okay, so it's saying I can't get through to that node 1, uh, which in, in essence is uh, in fact uh, not one of, it's, it's, it's not an ID that we're familiar with, but it's, you know, this is where the sort of ID sort of shift around. So we'll have to assume that that's perhaps the second server, you know, the 0 and 1. So having a look again, we can have a look at the uh, Kafka logs in a moment. We're having a look again. So we're trying to get through to 9092, which was the first. Let's go right the way up to 9094. And again, this is saying we can't actually get through to that. And if we go through to 9093, not, not happening. Right, so if we try um, this sort of approach. Same sort of thing. And just for the hell of it, 9092. Same thing. Let's have a look at the other topics. So that's affecting the second topic quite drastically. What about third topic? That's gone and first topic which has no replication is just on zero so that's gone as well so um, by by this method that seems to have screwed up uh, zookeeper entirely so let's go into uh, bin and we started the zookeeper off what we're going to do now is we're actually going to stop the zookeeper and we're going to start it again so just just the reverse really of what we did right at the very beginning to to get this thing going because it seems as though perhaps what we've thrown it it hasn't been able to cope with so we're in a bin so it's local to this it's zookeeper it's a stop oops there should be a t in there somewhere oh sorry there should be a server in there somewhere and then a stop um, and then what we need to do of course is make the appropriate uh, reference so we started it as a particular uh, zookeeper and we need to then sort of stop it in the same sort of vein so that's what we're going to do so the properties file and um, we're in bin so we need to go back up one into config slash zookeeper properties now let's start that the easiest thing to do of course is to go back and change that to start it's bound itself to that particular port and that's now running uh, on on there. In fact, actually what I'm going to do is stop it quite brutally and start it in the background. There it is. So it has it's binding itself to port 2181. Good. Now, the other thing that should be happening, of course, is that the servers themselves should be running and uh, they should therefore be available via Zookeeper. So Zookeeper should see those as available servers. So we'll have a look at that in a second.